Hi guys, we're back. Freddy, I mean, Nasrini is just waking us up. Fire, fire, Freddy Farkas, please come urgently. Uh oh, fire? What? What's wrong, Srini? A tragedy is becoming. The assay office is aflame. She's burning with a might most severe. The pharmacy may be next to lighted. Get dressed as soon as possible. <laughs> He's already dressed. I am dressed. I don't have any pajamas. Take mine. Uh, no, wait. There is not such time to perform such an effort. Just hurry and scheme in such a way so as to extinguish the most threatening fire. Okay. Walk around and down. Oh, he didn't want to jump over the antlers, I see. Good job, Srini. He's not very skilled in jumping, I guess. See, because Freddy can jump over the antlers. Like that. So anyway, I was talking about TSN in the last video, and um, TSN stood for the Sierra Network, and it was it was an online um, effort that Sierra did back in the early 90s. It was actually really cool. It was before the internet really became, nobody really knew what the internet was. And um, you paid a subscription to join TSN, and you could... You could l load their program, go online. It was through, you know, dial-up modem, and you could go online. And they had this graphical um, interface, and you could go to the different parts of town. One of which was Larryland, which is what um, Leisure Suit Larry was talking about a minute ago. Okay, man, mind the store. Yeah, as if there's not a fire next door. Just go ahead and you know stack the shelves. No, no biggie. Don't worry yourself, there, uh, Srini. Just, you know, don't come help or anything. I don't need it. It's just my life. I mean, what's my life worth? Not much. So, <laughs> so anyway. The old abandoned assay office is ablaze, threatening to burn down not only the, itself and your pharmacy, but the whole town. So anyway, um, it was really cool. You could play uh, Red Baron online, and you could play uh, like the, this game called Boogers, <laughs> which was really fun. And you could make your own... Um, it's kind of like the Nintendo Wii is now, where you can make your own little character. Although they didn't call them Wiis, they call Mies, They called them uh, faces, I think, or I don't remember what they called them. But it was really, really cool. Check it out. They have YouTube videos on on it. Um, still, you can take a look. So, okay. So what do we we have here? We have the burning assay office, which was old and abandoned, and now it's on fire. Hmm. Well, there's a thing of water, one screen to the north. But we don't have any hose or anything. Let's see. What do we have? We have flour. We have two keys. We have a claim check. We have bottles. And we have our um, cowboy gunslinging outfit. Can we... Let's try using the... That just doesn't work like that. Let me save it here because... In case I die, I don't want to go through the whole ritual of Srini waking me up again. So... Um... Fire! <laughs> Fire! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. That was horrible. Okay, so I don't think it's that. Can we use the flower on the fire, maybe? Oh, I guess that worked. Um, no, it didn't. You try to get close enough to throw it, but are forced back by the extreme heat and accomplish nothing but a large white splat on the ground. Wait a minute. He couldn't get closer than that, but yet I can walk up to it? What? Why don't you just walk up here and use it up? Can I pick up the flower that I threw? Okay, so it looks like the piles of baking soda aren't worth picking up. Okay, it's baking soda, not flour. But hey, it was thrifty of you to try. So apparently that's the right thing to do. If we could figure out some way to get it over there with a mighty heave. Hmm. Well, as Wadball says on his uh, Goblins videos that he's doing, let's think cartoon physics here. Um, we've got a teeter-totter over here. Maybe, just maybe, we could teeter-totter, springboard, the baking soda onto the fire. Score. Awesome. That worked. You've deposited your load of baking soda on one end of the teeter-totter. Let's hope you know what you're doing. 
Cool, now let's jump on the other end. You teetered enough. Okay, um... What about this swing? It's a short plank on two ropes, hung from a tree. Another high-tech child amusement device. You know what, I bet there's a patent for a swing. In fact, I'm pretty sure there is. So let's go swing on the swing. Push. Push again. Push again. And one more time, and go! Go! You are not quite skillful enough to make a perfect three-point landing from the swing to the seesaw without breaking every bone in your body. In other words, try it and you'll be the man with the flopping trapezium. Okay. One more. How about the roof? If we can jump from the roof down there. Ooh, it worked. Awesome. Jump down there, Freddy. Yes! Look at that. Perfect. Perfect hit. Score. What pluck! What prowess! What a ridiculous solution. Still, you thought of it. You single-handedly quenched the flames of the assay office by using a seesaw as a catapult for the baking soda. Too bad nobody was here to see it. They'll never believe you in the morning. Yeah, that's true. They won't, will they? Well, at least we'll have the pile of baking soda there as proof. We could go to bed now, but... We've never really explored Coarse Gold at night. And there's one place in particular we haven't been because it was closed. Which I don't even think I went there because I knew it was closed during the day. But I know that it's open at night. And that is... Sadie Overy's place! Yes, that's right. Sadie Overy, the prostitute from Coarse Gold. We're gonna go visit her. Shh. Don't tell nobody. She's down here. Okay, well that's her place, and there's two guys out front. The boss is more than a little upset. It seems that our friend has been thwarting every plan so far. Yep, something's gotta be done about it. Hmm, that's the sheriff and the banker. Absolutely. Now let's get down to business. What is the best way to get rid of our little problem permanently? What problem are they talking about? How about hanging? No, too quick and merciless. Poison? Nah, too unsure. Ancient Egyptian dagger? I can't find mine. You got yours handy? Not at the moment. It don't matter how we do it as long as we do it soon. And we don't want no proof it was us neither. And nothing to connect it to the boss boss? Who's the boss? Who are they working for? And what, are, they, are they talking about me? Excellent thought. And the boss has arranged for a bit of muscle to come on in and make sure when the entire town's cleaned out PDQ. We'll be rid of that do-gooder and all his flea-bitten friends in no time. Hmm. Weird. All his flea-bitten friends? They laugh cruelly, then sit back to reflect on their villainy. Let's go find out what they're talking about. Cause I'm just not sure. Am I interrupting anything? Uh, er, why of course not, Mr. Farkas. We were just talking about y The sheriff surreptitiously elbows Phineas in the ribs. Oof! That is, we were simply chatting about an invigorating workout. Mm-hmm, so it was me after all, huh? What have you got to say, Sheriff? You no-good flea-bitten mongrel. Sheriff, do you know about the fire down at the assay office? A fire? No! You don't say. That's dreadful. Why, I'm, if I'm not mistaken, a fire could wipe out most of Main Street. And say, it'd take your pharmacy right up along with it. I hates to contemplate it. They snort and giggle and like a couple of school children. Mm-hmm. Well, I put that dang fire out. Fortunately, I put the fire out. A big of, bit of baking soda did the trick. You what? Uh-oh. What'd you go and do that for? 
Somebody could have gotten hurt. Surely you didn't bring me... You didn't want me to learn, leave the fire burning, did you? Sheriff Shift and Phineas exchange glances. Well? Of course not, Farquell. You done a good job there. We're right proud of you. Uh, yes, Frederick. Very commendable. Mm -hmm. Like you wanted me to do it or something. Well, have a lovely evening, gentlemen. Yeah, whatever. Same to you. Mm-hmm. Just what I suspected. I gotta close the video now, guys, and see you in the next one.